Hi, and welcome to Ask a Gemologist. I'm Claire Tanhauser, I'm jeweler and gemologist, uh, proprietor of the Moon Tree Boutique, a little small batch jewelry store based here in Marietta, Georgia. So this is the garnet edition of Ask a Gemologist. So let's talk about garnets. When most people think about garnets, a deep wine red gem comes to mind. In fact, the word garnet comes from the Latin gan ganatum, I butchered that, for pomegranate seed. The truth is that garnets are a whole family, a group of gemstones that form naturally in a wide range of colors, including red, but also green, orange, yellow, purple, and even black. If that's true, you ask, then what makes a garnet a garnet? Scientifically, gemstones are classified by crystal structure, which is basically the arrangement of molecules inside the stone, which individually are invisible to the naked eye, but together create essentially the outer appearance of the gemstone's shape once the crystal is formed. Um, all the different garnet varieties have the same crystal structure, though the components and amounts of those components vary. <clears throat> it's that precise variation which results in the rainbow of color. Oddly, often the most minute trace elements, particularly metal impurities, are responsible for creating the different colors in garnets. To sciency, how about a good old cooking analogy? Think of it this way. When you bake a batch of cookies, half of them with and half of them without chocolate chips, they're all still cookies. And you can think of the chocolate chips as the small amount of additives responsible for the flavor or in the case of garnets, the different colors. But let's start with classic red garnets, the most iconic and also the most common, um, which is scientifically known as pyrope. So let's talk about pyrope garnets in history. Garnets have been popular throughout time and they were a real hit in the Dark Ages. <laughs> Many Anglo-Saxon and Viking graves contained vast amounts of burial goods laden with gold and garnet objects. So they were clearly highly prized. Sutton who, anybody? And scientific testing later revealed that those garnet objects were made with stones that originated from sources in India. So if crossing the world by ancient trade routes does not demonstrate the value of the gem in the ancient world, I do not know what does. Garnets were once again at the height of popularity in the 1870s to 1890s when Queen Victoria of England went into mourning and dark colored clothing and jewelry became all the rage in England and America. The deep, subtle, blood red color of garnets accented this aesthetic perfectly and new breakthroughs in gem cutting and polishing allowed unprecedented ability for jewelers to mass produce um, designs and capitalize on this fad known today as Bohemian garnet jewelry named for the region of Eastern Europe, Bohemia, now part of the Czech Republic, which pioneered this style of jewelry, and it's still super collectible today. Garnets have a, a long, long use, as you can see, um, in jewelry, but an even longer history in folklore. In fact, they were touted to have curative powers and protect the wearer from lightning strikes. Hmm. Let's talk a little bit about other colors of garnets. Um, personally, I'm obsessed with the orange variety of garnet, which is called Spessartite. And I have a small personal collection, which I'm going to attempt to show you, although I don't know how well the camera will be able to pick this up. But as you can see, this very sparkly rock is covered in orange garnet crystals. Here are some other examples of orange garnet from my collection. This is a sort of a deeper orange red. Um, sometimes Bessertite is called Mandarin Garnet for obvious reasons. I also brought some cool examples to show you of black garnet. 
These are whole natural black garnet crystals, um, which have been drilled into beads. And all of the facets are the whole natural crystal faces. So these have not been recut into this shape. This is how the stone grew and then it was just drilled into beads. Okay, so that was fun. Um, my iPad filled up with storage or something and stopped filming, so very exciting. Um, I had just shown you guys some examples of um, garnet crystals. Here is an example of um, faceted garnets, which have been used in a piece of jewelry, consequently by the Moon Tree Boutique. Um, so we'll see if I can figure out how to stick this outro on the end of the other video or not. Um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the large world that is Garnet. And um, I'll see you guys next time on Ask a Gemologist. And um, if this gets more than five views, I will brush my hair next time. Thanks.